Mazza the Hedgehog here, and welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3. Oh boy. Um, what a long day. I've made it, finally, after several days of walking. Uh, uh, look at the star line here. Ah, oh, jeez. I have spent the last five hours outside in the rain taking care of chickens. Chickens, out of all things. Uh, I guess there are your newest experiment. I wanted to see if I could make a chicken not so... Uh, chicken... Not scared. Okay. Well, that's all they ever seem to do. And I guess that failed. Uh, I didn't help. One of them got a bit nippy, but other than that, the experiment was a f a girl who was, was a flop. There was an assassin's right. organization that had existed since the Dark Ages. The Order of the Moonlight Horse. Oh, yeah. I young age of 14, the girl this. was its second most skilled member. Yeah, you think? The only thing she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, Quite often. and the designation, Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her mission. Oh, now we get to learn about the mystery maid. Assassin dog. Then one day, the order met its end. Oh, in that case, she will be at the hand fun. of Ouroboros. At the time, the society was still in its early days, and the two groups oh, were in full conflict behind the scenes. But against the combined assault of the almighty conflagration, the blade one fell steel maiden. The Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreakers and the Golden Butterfly, became the fourth endless and enforcer number three, respectively, while the empty girl was welcomed into the society as enforcer number nine. But even after becoming an enforcer... Can you believe it takes us three games to find out about her? <sighs> She was always free to refuse. It's a bit tedious, but Right. That bleak existence that her bond with the Reinfurt family came to be. The girl was given a mission by the sixth Very mysterious. I don't know who made it, Storm. The mission required her to meet with a certain person. But a terrible accident occurred. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries, and the other person lost their life. That person was Chairman Arena's husband, Lady Elisa's father, Master Franz Reinfeld. Wow. <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl. The one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She even gave her a name. I had never had a name. Very interesting. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same title. One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the order. But Lady Arena gave me the name. Sharon. Suddenly, this empty girl had a place to belong as a maid of the Reinfurt family. Since that point, I have continued oh. to serve the Reinfurts while still belonging to Ouroboros. I was able to do so thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. Wow, so we finally learn about the mystery maid. <laughs> yeah. And a true mystery. I simply thought was. this was a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa, for you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. What? <laughs> mm. 
It is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the chairman and my lady to ever leave me. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, I would serve you as your own personal maid as well. Okay. Dang! What is crashing onto the boy's arm? Oh, that's an accessory. It's supposed to be a... It was supposed to be a joke. It's a... It's supposed to be a, like a teddy bear. <laughs> oh. How do you know how fun kids are? They can't go anywhere without their teddy bear. Yep. Case in point, Silver, who decided to ruin the timeline because of it. You truly have become dependable. Uh... For you to say because all that to a woman such as yep. you is a tad unfair. Perhaps I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right oh. now. That hedgehog. Mm hmm. Traders of Cold Steel 3. Mm hmm. Eleven thirty PM Oh, yeah, dialogue. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard that uh, we're not even halfway through the game yet. Oh, boy. Yep. Let's just say that I had uh, someone uh, do some research, and uh, they got back to me saying that, uh, yeah, you guys aren't even halfway through the game yet. Interesting. So we might end up getting higher than, uh, might get higher than 60 parts here. Hmm. So yeah, this, this game might be my longest, uh, let's play ever. <laughs> I honestly don't think this game's ever going to have all cutscenes being audio. <laughs> but you get one of budget cuts. Yep. I don't hold my breath for the fourth game to have it either. <laughs> Most likely not. Uh, yeah, I got in contact with an, with someone that I haven't, uh, heard from in about four years. Mm -hmm. Someone named Kai the Orca. Kai the Orca. Yep. Yeah, he contacted me a while back and uh, was uh, was wondering what I was doing, and I told him about what's been going on, and he said that he might stop by. Then again, he might not. He uh, he might take a part of the war, depending on how he feels. He might not. 
Hmm. He's kind of looking for a purpose uh, because he can't really do much for uh, um, where he's at. Interesting. Mm hmm. This is... Uh, this is all? Huh? Well, look at you, big man in shining armor. Yeah, I don't like that dude. He's a big jerk. Definitely looks like the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, um, Sky, Nightshade, and uh, Star all told me that, uh, oh boy, they're not too happy with their father. Oh. Yep. What happened? Well, let's just say that, uh, because of the fact that Dragonfire hasn't really been there for them in their lives and the fact of what's been going on and there's going to be a war and he's not really fighting back um yeah they're not too happy with him i see i mean i don't i don't blame them i mean But it seems like Dragonfire has uh, given up on uh, things himself. Oh, boy. Mm hmm. That's quite interesting. Yeah, he's looking for. Uh, he's looking for a place. Um, a place and. Uh, a purpose in life since apparently a lot of his children have uh, disowned him hmm. kind of like what what I did to my father but because of the fact that he's had multiple children throughout the years more than half of them have uh, disowned him I see So yeah, now he's looking for a place um, and a purpose in life. Um, he hasn't been able to find Valimar. He um, he hasn't uh, he hasn't even uh, came across um, Scourge, and we got to be careful. Careful because of the fact that, uh, eyes, everyone, the because if he, uh, if he doesn't watch it, he could end up, uh, something horrible could happen to him. <laughs> oh, Oh, we've seen that, dude. Oh. First time we've seen her. Prince Oliver, jeez. Alfin as well, jeez. Oh, there's our sister.
<clears throat> and of course it's been telegraphed. There's Machius. Why does he have this? Dang, he he looks more like his father in this game than. Seems the kids have grown up. Mm-hmm. some of the people from the second game. Apparently they grew up as well. What? It seems as though our guests have arrived. The fool and the blazing demon should be nearby as well. The original cast has nearly all been swapped out by now. What will you do, Reen? You as well, Emma. Vida. Uh. I was wondering where she was. Still protecting this place, even if its residents are gone? Well then, all we can do is wait for the snake's next move. I'm also curious to find out what the branch campus is capable of. We don't know who that is. Ah, uh, the one mystery. Yep. Yeah, it was televised everywhere. <laughs> so even, uh... So even, uh... In our campground, we get to see it. <laughs> Worldwide televised events. Mm-hmm. That makes a statement. I mean, those are rare. I mean, wasn't the thing about you uh, winning against uh, Finitivus was a world event? Indeed. I'm televised. Yep. From what I heard, he's still not too happy about losing. Of course, he's, oh, he's a doctor. No doctor is happy when they lose. Still can't believe you beat him in with one point. <laughs> it wasn't, it, it, the question was so obvious. The fact he didn't know it was absurd. <laughs> Apparently he hasn't kept up uh, because he's been too busy uh, being in the DVZ universe. So... <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. 
At least that's a normal name. <laughs> Indeed. That's not a fitting character. No, the name doesn't fit for the character, but at least it's a normal name. <laughs> Indeed. Two PM. Looks like everyone's gonna leave. Hmm. Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. They make their departure. Mm -hmm. Was checking the message, um, and now we're just gonna teleport to Crossbell because apparently that's what they want us to do. is really clutching hard on Tarine's arm. <laughs> well, the one girl has, uh, cat ears. So I see. Else are you gonna get around quick? I prefer the train. Well, <laughs> if you want to get somewhere quick, you gotta think. Besides teleporting.
There's the television. Ooh. I don't like it. I'm good, Papa Who? <laughs> it looks like it's a big screen. Why are we remembering something that happened just a few minutes ago? Not sure. Like, seriously? I mean, yeah, I would get it if it was, you know, from the one of the previous games, but that literally just happened a few minutes ago. Okay, more random people. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Did you find him yet? <laughs> no. Uh, what the hell, Miles? <laughs> he said that it would lead you right to him. It led me to a big iron door that I couldn't open. He could be in there for all we know, but how are we gonna get the oh the door open? Uh, three keys. And you didn't find no keys. I don't even know where the door came from. I haven't seen that door before in my life. <laughs> my guess is that he set it up. He's trying to keep yeah. you out. You think? Now, I gotta find three keys. Oh boy. I wouldn't be surprised if each one is hidden in the hardest district of this kingdom. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me either. You'll just have to think on where you would put him, because he's technically you. Hmm. I would put one on the Weakland branch across the White Lake. Well, maybe, maybe one's there. Well, then that's where I start looking. 
All right. Go lightly. All right. Good luck. Uh, happy hunting. Seems like it would be something he would do. Uh, we can branch across the White Lake. Again, he's trying to find three keys to get into the door. Hmm. I'd say Scourge is on a riddle hunt. Yep. Well, we're going to stop it here. Um, so, uh, please, sign off. This is Dr. Starlight signing off. And this is Naza the Hedgehog signing off. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Kiss. Scourge's shoes.